All right. Now we're going to talk about 50-50 or backside 50-50, I should say, uh, and finishing from behind your opponent. Why is it called backside 50-50? Because it's 50-50 and you're, if you're not on the front side, you must be on the backside. Um, and that's pretty much what we're looking for. 50-50 uh, in front, the chief pains in the butt are is that your opponent has one, two, three things that he can bother you with. They can try to grab your arms. They can try to hand fight. They can try to swing on you. They can try to kick. They can try to cross their feet. Um, obviously, you can mitigate a lot of that through sharp offense but they do have more going on to bother you. Backside 50-50 is nice because it's a super, super, super imbalanced situation in favor of the person who's attacking the leg. So if you're uh, up on your base, please. This, if you want to take, this one can, is backside 50-50. Uh, my partner's hands and feet are on the floor. His feet are separated, unable to help each other. Do me a favor, connect your feet, please, Adam. I'm able to mark and monitor his far leg with my inside hand. I'm able to catch the heel hook with my finishing arm, so all I need to do is connect in order to finish. And his hands, can you get them involved to help yourself without falling on your face? No. How about opening my feet or anything like that? You grab the triangle and do all that. Yeah. Okay, I've got one for you. You've got my feet open, right? Get out. Okay, fantastic. This is a pretty unique type of, uh, well, unique-ish type of heel hook position in that the most of your finishing positions for a lot of your submissions are a combination of you, your opponent, and the floor um, creating, you know, pinching situations around a joint that stop it from falling. Like if you try to kimura me and I consistently am able to move because if either A, you're not controlling me properly, or B, I'm doing something to mitigate that control, you're not going to be able to hurt me. However, if I had to stay in place and someone just took my hand and yanked it behind my back like a police lock or something, you would absolutely hurt me and you wouldn't need martial arts skill to be able to do it. When you add in a mixed martial arts context or a professional fighting context, it becomes you, the floor, the other dude, and the wall. Now, that wall is a little bit more uh, stable than regional cage walls and whatnot, but when you're fighting in the UFC or I presume like uh, some of the other very big organizations, Cage is pretty taut, like there's not a lot of give to that thing. So it is actually very, very wall-like, even though it's like a, a porous wall, I guess you could say. But the trick with this one is rather than having their knee floating in space and me needing to create some sandwiching effect around it to stop them from moving, their weight is actually nailing them in the coffin in backside 50-50. So they're just stapled, their knee is on the ground. And as a result, they're unable to stop, they're unable to use that um, use any of this type of motion to take a lot of the, to return slack to their joint and protect themselves. This is what we rolled into directly from the feet um, against BJ Penn and who himself is a phenomenal grappler and absolutely knows how to defend heel hooks despite some of the, uh, the commentary to the contrary after the fact that I felt was pretty disrespectful and also inaccurate. Um, but you're going to find yourself way behind the eight ball. And if you're caught just like in anything else you, and you don't have the defensive resources, my level of knowledge at that point doesn't really protect me. I'm, I'm exposed. So if we come back to find yourself into backside 50-50, can I borrow a second here? All I want him to do is, if you're seated, please, he's going to turn all the way over to his hands. Here we are. My question is, can I create this situation assertively on my own? If we rotate to your right, please. So if he flips over, this is backside 50-50. I'm not crunched up and in here. How do you feel? I feel like I can start to pressure you. You bit. absolutely can pressure me. And I'm also not being, I'm not able to create an expanding pressure and any torque into his limp. We're going to talk about how to finish this position in a moment. But what I want you guys to understand is that the trick here is the ability to stay long. Use the back of your thigh as a frame. So can you press into me right now? No. How do you, what do you feel blocking you? I feel your thigh or hamstring blocking me and you're also blocking my arm with your shit. Right. So I could actually open my feet if I felt like it. You don't have to. Pinching the knee, I'm not doing any of this ordinary, like you'll see a lot of people, uh, or I've often heard that there's a lot of squeezing and pinching. I think that that's not necessarily the case and that's certainly not the case for someone with longer limbs because no matter how much squeezing and pinching I do, I can't mitigate the fact that I've got pretty long legs for someone my size. So I'm actually expanding my body. Okay. Now, my second hand here, the purpose of this is finishing, but also really the purpose is making sure he stays in this situation. So if you backstep and try to get yourself back to normal position, I'm marking this and keeping it apart. So I'm not letting him help himself out. And that's where when I initially rolled into the position in that fight in the UFC, 
Um, it was blocked and then we go, ha, I think we got him, let's take a crack at this. And then VG tried to kick his grip free and we were done. Or at least he was able to put enough pressure to create uh, you know, potential for injury and he decided to call it a day. Um, again, you can never be sure someone's gonna tap, but you can definitely see you're gonna put a lot of pressure. So I'm able to check and control. Now something that gets pretty interesting about this because the ground is involved. Do me a favor, lift your knee please, Adam. Okay. My weight is leaning on it. So it's actually stuck. I can take my right leg and open. Pressure? Yes. I'm able to control this position even without a pinch and even without a lock. Doesn't mean you don't want a lock because you're able to add redundancy to the control, but that's not a prerequisite like it is in many other positions. Now, other thing is my right hand is currently invested in blocking and keeping his legs apart, which is something I'd love to keep doing. And against BJ, we went, got him and we managed to make it there in time. But let's say I'm, I'm wrestling someone that's really, really savvy in this position and he knows exactly what he wants to do. When I start to bother him, he's gonna mount some sort of defense. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my inside leg, the same one that was locked, and I'm just gonna keep his feet apart. Tap. Can you connect your feet please, Adam? No. Can you roll? No. I'm gonna follow him with this. As always, I'm, the, I'm relaxed, I'm calm. When I'm fighting in the UFC or in the ring, I, keep, I don't mean to keep mentioning that. It's just uh, the heart rate's probably at about 50 or 60, it, it not freaking out. And I really hope I don't get beat up, <laughs> but at the same time, freaking out and, and raising my heart rate to 120 beats a minute, it's not gonna help me do anything uh, effectively. So what I wanna do is make sure that I'm relaxed. I'm not trying to kick in and overpower the situation because things will miss. I simply marking, marking, finishing. I could mark with the inside of my calf. Can you move please, Adam? No, very tight. Fantastic. If I really needed to, we could mark with the other foot. Yeah. Can we rotate a little bit to your left, please? So we'll get into exactly how to finish this thing, but the torque, the combination of my body making a frame in a wall, backwards against with the bottom of my hamstring and the bottom of my thigh, the ground pinning, my weight falling and expansion is gonna stop his second leg from getting involved and your hands, can they get involved please Adam? I would face plant. Yep, they're needed to help him stop falling on his face. And if he tries to get him up, even if he goes, well, I'm willing to fall on my face, it's really not that big a deal because he's going to fall on his face and he's not gonna be able to get back to face me. So backside 50-50 is going to be your premium finishing position. And of course, everything else will work. But when you can guide the fight to there, uh, you're going to be happy you did.